Welcome to EST Screening 101. In this tutorial, we will cover best practices and procedures for day-to-day -day screening. Before we jump into the screening process, let's first go over a few things that will help make your screening process more accurate. First, make sure you power up your camera at least 30 minutes before you start screening. This will ensure the camera gets up to operating temperature and adjusts to the environment. Next, make sure your camera is mounted securely and if possible in a location where the ambient temperature is less susceptible to change. Make sure that your background is clean. Hot objects in the field of view such as lamps, monitors, and computers can impact your results. Let's turn our attention over to the on-screen display. On the screen, you will see three temperature boxes displayed in the upper left-hand corner. The topmost box displays the average temperature. The middle box displays the set alert temperature, which can be adjusted in the screening mode setup page. And the bottom displays the current subject's skin temperature. When you begin the screening process, have your first subject move in front of the camera. Next, make sure the camera's in focus. This can be done by pressing and holding the autofocus button and using the manual focus ring on the camera's lens. Once the camera is in focus, we will need to set the area within the image where we will focus on. This can be done by touching the screen within the screening area. This will now allow you to move and resize the screening area. For best results, you should focus on the face of the subject. If this is your first screening of the day, or if it has been some time since your last screening, you will need to reset the old data and begin building a new average from healthy temperature samples. To reset the existing data, press and hold the P button. To average in additional samples, short press the P button. You will need at least three samples with 10 being advised for a more accurate average. As you continue screening, add additional samples to your average. Your camera can store up to 10 samples and will begin dropping the coldest and hottest when additional samples are added. Adding additional samples should be done every 60 minutes to factor in changes to skin temperature that occur naturally over time. If the ambient temperature is changing rapidly, it is suggested that you update more often. When you have everything set, you can start moving subjects to the designated screening location one at a time. Make sure that each subject is screened at the same distance. They should be positioned in the predetermined location that has been marked on the ground. Have them pause for one or two seconds to allow the camera to focus in on the hottest spot, which should be the corner of the eye near the tear duct area. This location provides the closest temperature correlation to human core temperature. During the screening process, you will want to make sure that all hats and glasses are removed prior to screening, as these can impact our readings and provide false information. If you detect elevated skin temperature in a person being screened, please request that the individual be screened using a device designed specifically for measuring body temperature, such as a thermometer. Having a consistent screening process in place will greatly improve the accuracy of your readings. Thank you.